point. Um, right, introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Tom, I do vocals and guitar. I'm Dan, I do bass and the vocals. And I'm Ollie, and I do drums. How did you form? Well, uh, Tom and I have been like school friends, and then he left school, and then we yeah. got together again and started playing, and then we kind of took it more seriously and started to get and Dan in. I knew you from my school. Yeah, like the school he left, um, where Tom knew Ollie, he like joined my school, yeah. and then we just saw. Oh, well, you knew I played bass, yeah. but it took you about three years to ask me <laughs> yeah. to like do anything with you. Yeah. And then yeah, we just um, kind of. And then the that was like November and yeah. last year. So this year it's been sort of serious. Yeah, I mean it's getting on for a year, and like the first couple of songs, um, one of them we play tonight. Yeah, yeah, we've come on quite a lot. Yeah, that's right. It's kind of through school that we've met, isn't it? Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was this restroom room thing? Because to say you've only been around a year, that's actually quite a yeah. fairly big place to play. It was our third gig. gig. It was our third gig, and we headlined. Nice. How was did you? How, what was the crowd like? Oh, it they was were amazing. Awesome. I mean, really good. Seven we were, supported I, us as well. They were there too. Um, I mean, all the bands were quite well received by like the crowd. But I think when, when we played, I mean, most of the people were here for us. I mean, we all like asked everyone we knew to go. It was about 100 people. Yeah. Nice. Um, so that was 100 people through tickets, and then all the other bands was another like 30 people. Yeah. And, and there was like roaring crowd. They loved it. Yeah. It was and 120 was sell out. I think we were just about 19 from selling out. So good. That's, that's really impressive. So <laughs> you've been like not around that long. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how did you choose the name? I know it's such a dumb oh, name. Oh, it took, us we, uh, it took us so long. We started off with Capunical, which is a word we made up. <laughs> you made up? I made up. <laughs> uh, we liked Flip Dings, Dings Box. <laughs> so oh that was God. really stupid. Well, I like and that. then, what yeah. was it? We, it was the Adventure Member song, yeah. Apple of Us All. Yeah, um, it says I sold my soul to the open road. <laughs> and then we changed it <laughs> we to went, on we the went, open road. Yeah, we added it to the open road. Because we didn't want to sound like a country band. Yeah, so we just went on the open road. On the open road suited it, because it's like, we're on an open road anyway, because we're playing music. We don't know where it's going to go, it's an open road, so it just kind of it links in that way as well. Yeah. Check out you're putting a meaning into it. <laughs> yeah. It's so deep. It took us about half a year to decide. Yeah, we can't like, really like, like, no. I'll send him a shitload of texts. I'll be like, gay. <laughs> <laughs> they were all pretty much stupid. But yeah, I mean, basically, we've managed to find something that we all half liked and we're like, let's do it. We need yeah. a Facebook page. We'll try it. We reached so the stage right. where we need a band, a band name because yeah. We did, our, we did our we first gig. We didn't have a name. <laughs> we were just like we were the we were the last band on as well. It was just like and that no was at their, their old school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's it was a small venue, much. but it, yeah. but everyone's sitting down. So. so what was that? Your first gig? Was yeah, yeah, first gig was Michael House, Michael House school. school where I went and Tom yeah, used to go. It's a small kind of place, but he kind of he gave us a good kick start. Really, we yeah. kind of got to know what it was like to and play then we just live. Spent about three months just working out and everything. Yeah. Then we started gigging yeah. again in like August. Probably. Yeah. So like how many gigs have you done now? Four, including last week. And this is going to be our fifth gig. Yeah, this is the fifth. Nice. Uh, have you got any plans for recording coming up? Yeah. Yeah, hopefully fairly soon. We're gonna, I mean, we want to do it before the end of this year. Yeah, we want we? to record two songs from our EP this year, release them slowly up to the point where we've when we record release the rest. Release them slowly, what, like 10 seconds a week? Or no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be crap. No, yeah, we'll um, like release one one month, then next one like one or two yeah, months later. And then, and then give something... Um, gives people something to listen to yeah. before the EP actually comes out. And then really, uh, so the those two will be on the EP, and then say with like two or three other songs. Yeah. Um, and then bring that out hopefully, hopefully like yeah. spring or something. Yeah, spring or something. Like Late that. spring or something. Any idea what you're recording yet? <laughs> what are we talking about today? Aren't yeah, we? we're probably prom song, which is the last song we we're going to do tonight. Um, yeah, it's like quite song. a fast pop punk sort of one. It's quite a new song. It's good, like, jokey lyrics. Yeah, it's uh, quite a good song. Hopefully, when that's recorded, it should sound really nice. And then um, and the first song we're going to do, Baby. Baby. In the game. Yeah. yeah. That's a bit more heavy, isn't it? But, heavy pop yeah. I mean, we've got like 12 full song ideas that we need to work on. Like, Obviously, we're after going to tonight. Do four for an EP. Yeah, but I mean, we're going to say have yeah. a few weeks just finishing ideas off because there's loads to work on. Yeah. So, yeah, should be good. Nice. Um, and here come the patronising questions. Alright. First album? Uh, Blink Wage 2, Mark Tom and Travis Show. Adam and Strike Back. What, the first album I ever bought? Yes. Probably Busted. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> or some shit the like that. The amount of people that say Busted. Well, is, our age, everyone. Yeah. It, I don't yeah, know. I'm talking nah. about older people as well. I mean, they all say Busted. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was a cool kid, I always thought they were gay. But yeah, to be honest, Same. that's all I could probably think of. Like, 
I think I think I bought Nickelback when I was quite young. <laughs> no, you're I hate myself for that. I think I was White Stripes. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not, worse that's than that's Boston. Not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. The drummer is annoying. That yeah, she's the same thing, but <laughs> yeah. it's entertainment. Or it's ACDC. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. Best what? album. Oh. Homesick, I need to remember. Hands down. The Oracle, Godsmack. Can I just say Blink-182 in general? <laughs> <laughs> A big fan then? Yeah. Nice. Biggest, yeah. Uh, so you've already said the first gig you played, the first gig you went to? Oh god. Um, the Rattels uh, rescue rooms as well. This was like two months ago for you though. No, it wasn't. It was like half a year ago. Still. I went to see either Stephen Steele's or... Um, I can't remember his name. It's one of these older guys. I went to see them with my family. Oh, that's sweet. That was a long time ago though. So, I don't know. It's kind of a gig, I guess. Yeah. I think my first proper band, like, proper gig I went to was probably Foo Fires. First proper band? Well, the one before that was like this really gay music festival in Nottingham Ice Arena when I was about seven. <laughs> and it wasn't good. <laughs> that was all the, like, weird pop people. But the first, like, one that I would like to mention was probably <laughs> Foo Fires. Yeah. Um, would you choose to never listen to music again or never create it? <sighs> if I say? never listen, can I still create it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you'll still listen to it, so it's you not create like it. You can't do either. Okay. You'd have to create it. So you'd have to you'd be listening create, to it to create, create, create it, wouldn't create. you? So you'd yeah. have to create it. You'd use the songs you've already listened to to create something. <laughs> yeah. Nah, no, I just create something. You'd feel the vibration. If you if you create it, you get to listen to it. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, that's right. You create. create your own music. Oh, if it's fine. already music you like, we you just, can rewrite that again. Oh, we'll just do that. So we'll create. We'll do that. Create. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just be your own influence. <laughs> yeah. uh, would you rather do a track featuring uh, Mick Jagger or Gwen Stefani? Christ. And please don't say you don't know who Gwen Stefani is. Yeah, we do. I, oh, I do. Anyway, say yeah, that we do. <laughs> I'll say yeah, Gwen Stefani. Yeah, I know. I'll say Gwen Stefani. I don't know, actually. Um. Is everyone will say Mick Jagger, so I'll just go. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, but Gwen Stefani is a bit. And then you can just, you know, make her a whore in the, in the music video. <laughs> you disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I'd probably say Gwen Stefani. Yeah. Um, weirdest place you'd like to do a gig? Underwater. That would be pretty cool. Or an aeroplane, that would be sick. I'd like to go back to my school, because oh, yeah, the be majority cool. of people there are pretty chavvy. Yeah. Oh, and we'd just play something quite heavy and, like, blow them away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know for me. I think I'd like to do an outdoor gig. Yeah, that'd be that's cool. not weird though, is it? That's weird. <laughs> in a weird that's place. really something cool. that we've not done yet. Reading, I'd isn't it? To, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so yeah, I'd like to do a festival, yeah. like fairly soon. We need to look into hit the deck because yeah, they yeah. do loads of small bands. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, yeah. do some of that. Ever met a band or someone, anyone at a gig and been starstruck? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are the in crowd. Nice. Uh, I've got Taylor Jardine's signature. Aww. On his penis. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy. But they didn't really say anything. I just put like, it was a hit the deck. I put like the card down with all the bands on it. They, they all signed it and they just gave it me and I was like, oh okay. <laughs> and I kind of walked off. <laughs> but yeah, I was just kind of staring at it like, oh my god. <laughs> so I guess the Rescue Rooms was probably the, uh, the biggest gig you've oh, played. Yeah. No, but yeah. definitely. So far, yeah. Yeah. Smallest gig, gone. Embarrassing size. Um, Probably actually Victoria, in Victoria in last week. Yeah. There's yeah. like 10 people and they're all like our mums and dads. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, there's you seeking me just yeah. that, uh, yeah. in the corner. That was and, then, and then seven didn't even watch it. And then they brought oh. in 50 people. Yeah, they brought in all their people. Don't talk bad about other bands. But no, I like them. I like they're good guys. Yeah. Like them, yeah. But at the same time, it would have been nice to have more people there. Imagine we did that. Because we in the rescue rooms. We kept all our people watched everyone. Yeah. Not just us. So. And it builds up the atmosphere. And it builds up the atmosphere, builds up the whole gig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. helps the crowd up a bit. Yeah. Uh, seeing as this is you've not done that many gigs, but you might have them. Do you know how unfortunate you are? What's the worst experience, most embarrassing moment you've had on stage? Um, what individually? Yeah, individually. All right. Okay, hey, I'll go first. Week. When there's a song called Fallout, and oh. I have to. Uh, I have to change my hi hats from open to close, and I always forget. Like the first few <laughs> yeah, times, yeah. I forgot to do it. Oh, I remember so I start class. the song, and then yeah, I was like, "Oh, oh crap!" So we have to restart the song on stage. <laughs> so probably that. I'd say mine was when we played Rescue Rooms. Obviously, really big deal. Looking forward to it for like five months or something. 
bought a brand new amp, 300 quid, like Marshall, proper good amp, got on stage, pressed the on button and it will not turn on. Whatsoever. <laughs> and all the other have you bands. tried it before? Or yeah. No, I've no, used it before. Four bands before. All the four bands had, all used it and it was fine. And then I turned it on and it didn't work. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't happy. And in, in the video, you can see at the beginning, I'm it's really like, pissed uh, off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying not to be, but I don't look that happy. Yeah. I don't know what I might be. Not having water. Oh yeah. Ah! That's it. <laughs> the first gig, I forgot water. I just. Oh. It wasn't good. It just ends up. It was really dry as well. I don't know why. It's really the first gig for me was pretty shit as well. Yeah. Because like, I just said the first I, came, gig I came later. They had written like two or three songs <laughs> without me, yeah, and then I had, down I had a little bit of paper taped to the floor just off stage, and it's the most simple shit ever. Yeah. <laughs> and now I like That's play all of our songs. Just it's all autopilot now. Yeah. With, like yeah. how much we practice and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um. Best band that from either local or anywhere really mm. uh, with a similar size fan base. Oh. Mm. I would say uh, the opposite. Yeah, I guess so. Actually, yeah. Yeah, we like the Paddy Do you say local area? Anywhere. Oh, anywhere, just a similar sort of fan base. Similar sort of size fan base. Yeah, I'd say yeah a Paddy Yeah. They were at rescues with us. It's Tom oh. Step Brothers. Yeah. Who else did you have support in there then? Uh, seven, Podiopsis, those who see no, I'm not see, sorry. <laughs> see, oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> Sequence of events, uh, mixed reactions. Nice. Uh, anything else you want to add in? Oh, just check out our Facebook page. Yeah, that's where we'll be updating everything. Definitely, and, and hopefully, pretty soon, as in like next couple of days, our rescue rooms video should be on. Yeah. And then hopefully recording pretty soon. So yeah. Check it out. Sweet. Cheers.